Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is Brad Hughes and I'm one of the three hosts of Jedi Talk. And today I'm back at Hollywood Studios because today is a day that I've been waiting for for a long time. Magic Band Plus is a, were released today, which means the Batu Bounty Hunters game is up and running now too. I can interact with the statues. There's a lot of cool stuff I'm gonna get to do today. So hang tight, keep watching. There's a line to get to them. Ooh. All right, so I grabbed a few magic bands. Let's go through here and see which ones like that. Here, this one for myself, Rogu. This is the one that I wanted the most. I love the design. It looks kind of almost in universe when you got a little Grogu there. Kid is not happy. Um, and then, got a Black Panther one. Black Panther's cool. And then, for Holly, which is actually probably the best design out of all of them, I got the Orange Bird. I got one for her sister as well. Uh, this is a really cute band. The designs retail $44.99 and the, col the plain colored ones, I believe retail at $34.99. I didn't buy any of the colored ones, so I don't know. Um, I have about one of the black ones when they got accidentally released at Disney Springs that day, but I think if memory serves me right, it is $34.99 and annual pass and cash member discounts do apply. Evan told me that they don't come charged, but this one just turned on green, so that's a good sign. That might be yellow. I can't tell. I really like the feel of these. They're so much more flexible than the previous Magic Bands. So I'm seeing, I've just been standing around the statues for a second, looking and seeing how people are interacting with these statues. And from what I can tell, it's not working that well. Um, I don't know if it's user error, if they've you know, links, you have to link the Magic Bands to your phone via Bluetooth, which is interesting. Um, you know, all things considered, I don't think 45 bucks for like a game like Bounty Hunter, which I'm headed to go do now, after it charges for a minute, is that bad, you know? Especially since it's something you can like do over and over again. It's not like a one-time buy-in for 20 bucks, you have to pay 20 bucks each time. Once you have the band, you can play it as many times as you want. I like that. Oh, hi, Evan. Happy well, Bounty Bounty Hunters Day. Are you it's, excited? I'm wearing my Bounty Hunter shirt for that reason, so I'm okay. excited. All right, so what are you doing? Just you're ready to stand? My band are close to my device. So let's go ahead and give it a try. That's a promising <laughs> start. Oh, there it is. We were right. Thanks. Nice. Assign it to me. Let me continue screen recording that. What does it say? Just Bluetooth? Okay. Yeah, location, Bluetooth. Hello. Hello. Nice. Now it's blue again. Sweet. All right, so that's how you're going to pair it to your turn it on. That's, I, wonder, I thought that might be why. Hello. Update Magic Band. <laughs> This is it's so brand wild. new. I bought it five this, minutes ago. I will I say this makes it. me nervous because Disney's not good with technology and having to update the Magic Band the second you take it out of the box yeah. is kind of nuts. I have to do this again now? Open scanner? I have to do this all over again now? Uh-oh. Promising. That red's not good. Oh, that's red. Um, open scanner. Ready to scan. You gotta put, turn it back on again. There we go. Very interesting. I'm not surprised it's not working. I might have to type it in old school style. Oh, that's an option too? Yeah. Oh. Yours is like the Google logo. <laughs> it is. There's so many more settings than I thought there would be. 
We're updating it. It's good. All right. This is going to be something different than I normally do, but this was just me showing you guys that there are new ways to now link your magic band. You can tap the magic band as opposed to just typing in the numbers on the back like you used to back in the day. You can obviously still do that, but this way is uh, a little cooler. It seems a little more official tapping it and getting it in that way. So this was a really cool thing and I just kind of showed the technology here. That was part of the reason for showing this. This is just cool new animation that's inside the app and I thought it'd be interesting to see it. All right, once I got everything all set up there, there are a bunch of new features like this one where you can change the color of the ring of the magic band. Now, since I was screen recording this, it's hard to tell because you can't see the magic band, but in reality, the magic band ring was changing the color that I'm clicking on. I wish that I had a second camera so I could have recorded that and shown you, but once you get it all set up, you'll be able to see what it does. And it looks really cool. Not to mention, some of the magic bands have their own unique colors. There's Darth Vader red if you get the Darth Vader one, and I'm sure some of the other magic bands have their own colors as well, but the Star Wars one that I got didn't. Um, there's also details on like brightness of the thing, uh, the ring around it, I keep saying thing, the color around it, and then just some more information here on magic band. Oh, and also there's a battery indicator of the magic band itself and uh, movement controls, which I thought was a cool addition. All right, despite a few technical glitches on my end, the same ones I experienced on the Halcyon, I finally got it working thanks to Ashlyn of the Guest Experience team. Thank you for helping me out if you ever see this, thank you. Uh, but now we're headed over here to go get our first bounty. This is wild. I didn't think there'd be this long of a line already for this thing. I guess that's true, I guess I kind of did. I gotta say, the terminal looks fantastic. This is gonna be fun. All right, let's see who we're getting. Let's come scan here. Woo. It's weird having... Okay. Yeah, it, it's the same info that you saw on the play, but it's cool. Yeah, if you miss it or something, it's cool to have it shown here. Bogat. All right, so essentially it just tells you if you're going in the right direction or not, and then it'll vibrate with a slow green one if you're going in the right direction, and then a fast red one if you're not going in the right direction. So it looks like we're going in the right direction here. Evan also told me that that Bounty Hunter logo is how you know where to go, I guess. This is fun having something brand new to do in Galaxy's Edge. Ooh, we're getting closer. So one thing I would say, have a little bit of patience with it because it's not exact, exactly accurate. Like I was standing in front of the door for about 40 seconds until I caught up to it. I think there's a lot of stuff going into it. So, you know, getting your location from the Disney Play app, sending it to your band. So, it, you know, it's not perfect, but you know, it's technology, nothing's perfect. But this is a lot of fun. And then this is something I'm gonna love doing just randomly running around Batu trying to find it. Is it purple? No. It's 
Mexican's a lot of fun. It's uh, like a 2.0 version of what is available on the Halcyon. So if you're staying there, it's different, but similar. I see you found the first bounty. Not bad. But you'll need to collect a lot more to join the Bounty Hunters Guild. Here are your credits. Nice. And it's just repeat. That is really cool. One thing I really like is there's a practical window that goes up or down whichever way to reveal the screen behind. I really think that's a cool detail. This is what happens if you come back and you haven't completed your bounty. Keep looking. Don't come back to me until you find the bounty. All right, so we found a flaw. You can't really cancel it. I was told or I read that you could cancel it over here just by rescanning it, but it didn't work. It just made me like redo it. And what's annoying about the fact that it won't let me cancel it is now I'm just vibrating. My, my wrist will just not stop vibrating and it is getting really, really, really annoying. We're like stuck on one. Every time I go up to it, It'll turn green and vibrate really fast and then it turns red. So I don't know what's going on. I can't cancel it. My only hope is that this magic band dies. But uh, overall, it's a really fun game. What do you think? Surprisingly addicting. But yeah, because it's a little bit replayable in a sense it sends you to different parts of the land. And it's always a different character. Yeah. So if you're a super nerd, Star Wars nerd like we are, you're like, oh, that's the Aki Aki species. Or, oh, that's the Jawa. So it's cool. I'd like to see them use maybe the next tier of characters, like maybe a Hondo one day or something. Yeah, that something, would be cool. Something cool. Yeah, but I um, like it. There is a way to join the guild. So after you do 20 bounties, you are in the Bounty Hunter Guild. Now, I don't know if that means you can't do bounty hunting anymore. I'm sure there might be a next level where he sends you bigger targets. That'd be cool. Maybe that's when Hondo comes into play, or people that'd like Hondo. That'd be really cool. That'd be cool. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. We're gonna do a deeper dive into this on Jedi Talk on Monday. You'll hear that when it comes out on Monday. Uh, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Until then, stay safe. May the fourth be with you. Always end good journey. Rise, Jedi Knight. Would be great if you just like jumped he in. in he's here nowhere. somewhere. He's, he's he maybe he's a bounty. He might be. Someone's hunting oh, just, him. Just a big red ass yeah. in the doorway. Yeah. Love it.